So I just showed you Robot Vacuum. Um, Robo is the name of our vacuum, and if you get one, you will name it. Uh, it's part of the family. So it's in the next room. So it's in the kitchen. I just went through the doors here and I'm out in the sunroom now because it is fairly loud. That's one thing to know about the robot vacuums is they're kind of loud. It's kind of like a white noise. So um, my kids are very light sleepers and I can have it on like the other side of the house. No problem. I run it while they sleep and it never bothers them. Um, but I don't run it in the room right next to them uh, just, just to be safe. So it, it can be kind of loud, but um, so you're definitely like not going to be running it in the room next door and then trying to watch TV. Um, there are like four people like it's really good for, um, but people that it's not good for too. So the scoop is if you are like okay with your floors being pretty good, um, it, robot vacuum is great. Um, if you need your floors to be perfectly clean and it's going to bother you if there's one speck left, then do it yourself. Robot vacuum's not for you. Um, it is for you if you have other things you would like to be doing. So I love literally getting to push the button and leaving. And like we go out for a walk, we go outside to play, and we come back in maybe an hour later and the floors are clean. Like that's awesome. Wherever the room I put it in, it's clean. It's like... I didn't have to do a thing. Um, so if there's other things you'd rather be doing than sweeping and vacuuming your floors, Robot Vacuum is for you. Um, it's also great if you have big floor areas. So in my our first house, it was small. There were small rooms. There wasn't a lot of open space. And it was faster and easier to just vacuum. I never thought about robot getting a robot vacuum in that house. However, we moved last year to a bigger house that's bigger, um, much more square footage, and it's open concept. It's very open. And I quickly realized, while I love it for having room to play and the kids run and, you know, ride scooters and stuff in the house, like, that's great. But it's a lot of floor space to cover and keep clean. And so that's when last year I started looking into the robot vacuum because I was like, wow, I spend so much time. So if you have, like, big open floors, lots of space to cover, robot vacuum could be great for you. Um, and it is also great for you if you have hardwood floors, you know, hard tile, whatever, floors and thinner carpet. Um, it is not for you if you have lots of shaggy carpet, like thick carpet. So in our house, all the floors have been fine. All of our carpets have been fine, except two kinds. Um, there was, we had a big shaggy rug, like it was pretty thick in our living room and robot vacuum could get up onto it but it couldn't maneuver around it so it wouldn't clean it so shaggy carpet it will not work for the other kind um is like those throw rugs that um don't stay put but they easily like move around they're crumply and slide around you could throw them in the wash machine um, robot vacuum will kind of crumple those up and get stuck and then not be able to work so i have to move our rugs like that that we have in front of the doorways um, lift those up out of the way before I let the robot vacuum clean my room. Um, a couple other things that I've learned since having the robot vacuum is you do have to kind of pick up the room first before it can clean. Um, so we've accidentally left um, like clothes on the floor and it got into a room where there was clothes on the floor and that clothes will get tangled up like under the wheels and then it'll just stop working. So it's never ruined anything but it you do have to have the floors like picked up and if you have like a small room with lots of furniture and stuff in the way robot vacuum wouldn't make much sense for you but if you have big open areas and you can pick up um, the stuff out of the floor off the floor so like I pick up some of the kids toys sometimes just to give it a good clean before I do the let the vacuum go um, the other thing it's not good for that I discovered is like wet like food like I I have to vac sweep um, where the kids eat a lot because there's just crumbs and food get on the floor and I thought I would be able to use the robot vacuum to clean up those areas more and I've discovered it really doesn't work great. It doesn't work great for the crumbs there um, on the hardwood floor in my house and it does not work great for anything that's wet. So like avocado, you know, it would just smear it around and kind of make a mess. It doesn't like clean it up obviously. Um, so those are a few things to keep in mind that you don't want the robot vacuum to be just going in your house if there's like wet, um, you know, avocado or food or something, or obviously like dog poop, um, you don't want robot vacuum to go around your house. If you have things like that, um, messes like that, it will just make a bigger mess for you and that defeats the purpose. 
Um, the other thing to know is that um, I use the wall to keep it enclosed in one room because it does a better job that way. Um, I can just let it, once in a while I let it just go randomly in the house. I get every, make sure all the rooms are ready and we're gone for the day and I just let it go. But typically what I do is kind of one room at a time. I use the wall to keep it enclosed and it does a better job that way. Um, so you'll, if you have stairway, um, stairs that go down, you'll definitely want either the wall set up or like put a tote in front of the stairway so it doesn't just go down the stairs. Um, so the, the wall has been great for me and, um, but you can also like use totes or furniture or something to kind of keep it enclosed in a room. If you have something that you want to block off an area you don't want it to go into. Um, so that's the scoop on the robot vacuum. Randomly, I had three people ask me about it this week or they saw my post or they knew I had one and they were like, either thank you so much for the tip. I love mine. I can't believe it really works. Um, or people were like, which one do you have? What one do you recommend? Because people know I read reviews like crazy before I buy stuff. Um, so I have the robot six, iRobot 650. I don't think they even make it anymore. They have newer ones that are all hooked up to like Alexa and Wi-Fi. Um, and have remotes. Mine does not have that, but I bet they're just as fabulous. I have never talked to somebody who has a robot vacuum, like the Roomba, um, who has had anything bad to say about it. Um, so I will put some links below to um, the closest ones to the one that I have, and um, if you get a robot vacuum, I would love to hear how awesome it is, how much you love it, and what you name yours. Um, that's kind of funny, the emails I've gotten about people that name their robot, and mine or their vacuum mine is robo that's what he became in our house and um let's go take a look at how the kitchen is looking so here it is we're back in the kitchen and there it goes literally like it has cleaned up crumbs um this carpet over here it goes on just fine had a whole bunch of fall leaves on it and they are all cleaned up so that's the scoop on the robot vacuum all right, Val from the Common Sense Club. Bye-bye.